The European Health Commissioner is ringing the alarm over a worrying spike in new coronavirus cases. The messaging even more extreme than last spring when Europe was in the deadly grip of the first wave of infections. I'm deeply concerned by what we are seeing now and what may follow in the common, coming weeks and months. We are at a decisive moment. Today we're here to call on everyone to act decis decisively too. It might be our last chance to prevent a repeat of last spring. Stella Kariakidis told Europe not to lower its guard, fearing a twindemic of flu and coronavirus as winter approaches. The flu alone kills upwards of 70,000 Europeans a year, and the bloc has already been grappling with an onslaught of new COVID-19 infections since August. France and Spain's daily case numbers now far outstrip their springtime peaks. While some of this may be attributed to increased testing, health experts are concerned over a jump in community transmission, particularly among younger people aged 15 to 49. The director of the ECDC says governments may need to close locations where young people gather, whether it's bars, schools or offices, to slow transmission. And that has to be accompanied by really a proper risk communication to, to, to younger people because, as I said before, um, they are aware that the, the virus exists, but they don't feel that it's a concern for them. And I think that has to be conveyed. Europe's top health officials are urging governments to roll out new antivirus measures and pleading with citizens to maintain discipline around hygiene and distancing. But for many, a serious case of COVID fatigue has already set in as the months have dragged on. It's a reality the Belgian government is facing up to. It's rolling back preventative measures around mask wearing and quarantine next month, despite a tripling of cases, theorizing that simpler, less restrictive measures are the only way to rally a jaded public into long-term compliance. That theory may catch on elsewhere, especially as a vaccine remains elusive. Even if one is found, Health Commissioner Kerry Akitas says it's no silver bullet. It could take years before everyone has access, meaning short-term measures may very well become the long-term strategy.